What's up guys? Welcome to Up to Speed. My name is Cheptoek Boyo and today we have one of top reality star and also uh, I like her. Her name is Gloria Kialo. She is a reality star and a student studying psychology. Welcome to the show. Thank you so Super much. Star. I'm happy you said Kialo. <laughs> 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 I came to the launch, mm-hmm. loved it by the way. Yeah. Tana pilikuwa po hivyo. Thank uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> then you guys clarified uh, it is Kialo and not Chalo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the show mama. Thank you. Let's let me take you back to your primary school, high school, university. All right. Are you mm-hmm. ready? I am ready. <laughs> So I started out my primary um at Olerai mm-hmm. primary school in Rungai. So it got to class six and I nikachoka. Nikachoka? Mm-hmm. Nikenda St. Mary's Ruaraka. Nikachoka. Masa likubali tu uchoke. Nikenda Ongata Academy. Mm-hmm. That's why I finished my class eight. Okay. So for high school I went to Brighster Girls. It's in Juja. Mm-hmm. And then I left Bryce the girls yeah obviously I, f- I finished yeah then um for university I went to Dexter mm-hmm. Nikachoka hey. <laughs> <laughs> eh hey, then now I went uh, I'm at, I'm currently at USU yeah yeah Ish. uh any favorite moment in high school I feel like high school was a very rough place mm-hmm. yani if people are mean for no reason mm-hmm. so I don't think I had this one time that I had I ah. music festival, drama festival, symposium. <laughs> Imagine me kwa wale mademo, watu wanaenda funky na achwa. Watu wanaenda sports na achwa. Drama na achwa. Music fe- na achwa. Yaani mimi nilikuwa naenda home meet I I don't know. I wasn't I don't know why I wasn't feeling like I want to explore and go and sing and dance I don't know I and meet handsome young boys I never I actually I, the whole the whole four years I attended um funkies like twice or thrice mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Now at university you're pursuing psychology why was this the right course for you to choose Uh you know in, interestingly it wasn't Like it was my second choice by the way. Mm-hmm. So initially I wanted to do vet medicine. Okay. Then nikaangalia hiyo grade. Nikashangaza sasa wewe nitafanya nini na wewe. So um I so I decided okay let, let me let me do a list of pros and cons. Yeah. So I saw that if I was to do vet medicine I'd probably do it for like eight years and I don't know why that the idea of being in school that long didn't sit well with me. Yeah. So I was like the next best thing that I've always thought of doing is psychology, counseling. So I was like yeah, and in primary there's, there's a time I, I me and my friends wanted to start a peer, peer counseling club. Mm-hmm. So looking back I was like yeah, it's the right this, thing. This the it right makes piece. sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Kialo culture na According to New Siku Kuinje, mm-hmm. you are the hardest <laughs> to to agree to be part of this reality series. <laughs> What made you come on board? Well, eh hey, me it, it took a lot of convincing, but in as much as I can be stubborn, like I have a I have a point where I, I yani can be persuaded. Um Masi persuaded me and she she was just like chick it's a way to make money. Mm-hmm. Me, I'm like but but they're like no she's like no. Me, if you don't take this show if you if you if you don't agree to do this show um me I'll never give you anything. You go out with your friends you with your own money. Then I was like wow she makes a valid point. Yeah. Then also the idea of having fun with my sisters. Yeah you're doing it with your family. Yeah so it was I don't know. I took took some time but I finally warmed up to the idea and here we are. New celebrity in town. <laughs> <laughs> What is different about this show mm-hmm. from others? Um I feel like okay first of all we know that in Kenya specifically um the reality is that we, reality shows that we've seen don't feature sisters it's always mm. you and your husband you and your boyfriend I, i think that's that's what has been there for a while so finally we're doing a sisterhood thing 
and i feel like this inspires so many sisters out there to love each other and to see that you know you can fight but just like the carlos we come back and we love each other at the end of the day yeah yeah mm-hmm. so it's a it's a it's showing off the sister dynamic the yeah. love the e- hate the yes, drama exactly. and all that yeah. away from the coupling mm. that guys are used to mm. so how much of this reality show is reality and how much is what percentage is scripted if i'm being honest i feel like all of it is reality i feel like the only thing that i would say um is a bit not not like usual is that sometimes you can find that normally i would shoot in let's say where do i go eat let's say the skimpiest places to eat Mm-hmm. and i want to go eat there with my sister let's say masi mm-hmm. but now the only difference is that now for the show you go to a, a better looking place you know some yeah. a place that is more aesthetically pleasing mm-hmm. that's the only difference just a, it's just tweaked a little but there's a lot there's a lot of reality like let's say 95% reality okay yeah. apart from my producers kuchanganya kidogo tu edit kidogo tu hapo uko na kapwa do you feel that you have to be perfect every time because now you're on tv well um i feel like it's something that i've not just started feeling um when my sister Betty introduced me to the limelight i was really young and So so I'd meet people so you know I'd be having a bad day and I just feel like being mean mm-hmm. but you meet people and you're like if I'm mean what is going to go out there that I'm mean and with headlines exactly with so Charlo's sister yes laps ah <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like it's really made me mi- mindful for what I for the be- behaviors that I portray out there and also for how I just treat people. I feel like I've I'm kind but I am kinder. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm kinder. So, yeah, so it's not just started after the show. It's something that Yanni ever since Betty introduced me to the limelight, I always have to speak some type of way mm-hmm. and have some type yeah, of Yeah, yeah, not go to the skimpiest of places. Yeah, it's always been there. Okay. Have you ever refused for something not to be shot in the reality? Something that you want to keep it mm. for yourself. You to need to Oh, begging. okay. So, um in the reality show, we you know we want to we want to portray the you know perfection and all of these things. Mm-hmm. So you'd find that So, I recently moved out. Okay. I'm t- I I moved out when I was 20, mm-hmm. right? So moving out when you're 20, you you're not going to live in the best place. No. Or yeah, or millions are quite skew flani up. Exactly, exactly. So I feel like I was just like, "Eh, hey, don't show so much of my house mm-hmm. because it's not <laughs> the best you'll ever see." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I feel like it's just been my house because I want to grow it slowly. I don't want to be pressured to do everything all like all at once. So at some point I was like no don't show that part of my house just ah, so you they would rather shoot at an angle yeah at an I angle expose. just leave all the trash aside <laughs> yes focus on me and this couch <laughs> <laughs> That's nice but also authentic Yeah yeah because you're not trying to live a fake life you're not yeah. you going to shoot in an Airbnb yeah i must do your sister's mm. uh, rooms that have never been Imagine. shown yeah. i like that how often do people recognize you on the streets Okay, can the streets be like in a mall cuz I never walk in the streets you never walk tao to a public street me i could not play cg kenya kama town I feel like I can't even count the times I've been to town. So I never work in, let's say CBD. But let's say in the malls, um people recognize me. I feel like before yes it was there but after the launch of our show it's been a lot more. Yeah. And but you see now people are like like you know they are, they are not sure. So it's the stairs. Yeah, and, and the stairs make me even feel like I'm going to fall. You know how someone looks at you so much and like and I'm going to Ken- trip. Kenyans we are starers. Y- yeah. Yes. Yeah, and provoked. Oh, yeah, it's not and even, even pointing, and they're not hiding. Sometimes pointing also. Yeah. You, when like, are you here? Just say hi and move on. Trust me, I've seen <laughs> I've met girls at the mall near my place and they're like 
you see they've seen you and you know they know you but then you hear and you can you can hear the whisper yeah the glory kelun uni sister betty but you know she um so um the this the most recent one was i don't just where i live so i was walking my dog so i was walking my dog so someone I took for walking. So one person recognized me. Mm-hmm. They, they, they okay, sometimes they say hi, sometimes they have to be sure. So the other person told their friend and I could hear all this. Like they were quite loud. Like acha chan kon shi Instagram yake. So they even open my Instagram <laughs> and then I'm looking I'm looking at them. They are looking at my photos. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh mm-hmm. Kenyans just say hi say hi yes, and move yeah, on yeah actually yeah. just say hi mm-hmm. uh, you grew up in a single parent home mm-hmm. how was it I feel like growing up in a single parent home was actually a blessing for me I don't know I know mm. very few people would say this but then I feel like it was a blessing because I got to grow up without so many rules So I, I I got to become yani I got to become my best self you know okay, the true yeah the true glory. me like I could explore I'm like mom can and then my, me and my mom are so close kwanza recently so and also even being able to move from school to school imagine tuna kuambe ulipoa chances mob as this little mom aki mama aki here aki aki i feel i'm tired she's like sawa kesho tunaenda kutafuta shule i'm like yes <laughs> so imagine things like that like those privileges I wouldn't have if I was if I was growing up with my mom and dad mm-hmm. cuz even from what Marcy and Betty were telling me about dad mm-hmm. he sounded strict and me I don't like people who are strict I like it when I'm free I'm given the opportunity to explore and to find myself to make my own mistakes and I feel like that's what my mom gave me and if dad was there I wouldn't have gotten that yeah mm. plus you've grown up to be a very responsible human being I like to believe <laughs> 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 You're also a dog mom with three dogs. Yep. Damn. Me I need to get one. <laughs> How much do you spend for maintenance of these three dogs? How much? Okay. So, my mom stays with two of my dogs because I can't stay with three dogs in an apartment. Who do I think I am? What, what a complaint. <laughs> what addicted. I, you know, first of all, initially my landlord didn't even want my dog. But I pressured, I pressured. I don't even think he knows I live with that dog there. Yeah. <laughs> so illegal. <laughs> yeah. So so I cannot I cannot count the others in my budget because my mom does most of the work. But for Lulu, okay, the one that I stay with, the one has that has been loving you. Loving me like yeah, like crazy. <laughs> so uh for her, um let's say um, a month, right? Yes. So I feel like her food is like 4000 on average on average because she's also very picky so you can't give her the same food all over and over and over so i get like three to five different types of foods mm-hmm. so that i can switch them up yeah something like that it, it is which breed it's um what's lulu is she a pom- no, no no she's actually uh she's not a spitz see now you're asking me now i've forgotten but i usually <laughs> know <laughs> it's okay uh-huh. yeah but yeah i'll remember i'll remember <laughs> So um you at 4000. Yeah, so 4000 for for food. Mm-hmm. Um what else? Um so grooming is not done monthly, let's say every every three months. Mm-hmm. Grooming is also like 4000 cuz she's a small dog. So grooming depends on the size of the dog. So you find that grooming is just cutting the nails, um uh, shaving her a little, washing her, mm-hmm. deworming and also Uh, there's some injections that yes injections for uh, to keep away ticks fleas yeah so um yeah that's basically it lulu doesn't take a lot of me by the way mm-hmm. mm. so the most cost is just that for for meals during yeah, meals. monthly yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you also revealed mm-hmm. that you you hire nanny so <laughs> you're too busy come aside did you hear <laughs> come aside lulu ako na nanny what makes the best nanny for a dog How do you choose your nannies? Yeah. Okay, so me I didn't even choose. I was given and I took what I got. <laughs> <laughs> so, um so the the nanny, the current nanny for my dog was my mom's house help. Uh-huh. So she she 
she w- she wanted to leave my mom's house okay. so i decided let me stay with her for a month because i'm having a crazy month mm-hmm. let me stay with her for a month as she takes care of my dog i see if it's something i'd like to have like reg- on a regular like consistently yeah so she's been with my dog for let's so the past month mm-hmm. she's doing a great job and i've become lazy i've become <laughs> so lazy there was no vetting that i did but i feel like moving forward i would like someone who's young Most uh-huh. definitely because people who are older tend to look at it as a dirty job of which is not a dirty job mm-hmm. honestly lulu is my baby a job is a job it's, yeah lulu mm-hmm. is my baby basically i'm just telling take care of my baby don't look at it as a dog <laughs> 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 have you trained lulu ile like you can now leave her for a day in the house with i think you, you're supposed to feed it twice a day yeah. bre- breakfast and dinner, and dinner. So have you trained her ile usikuje upate nyumba iko upside down well yeah i have trained okay i didn't train her so um lulu was masi's dog ah yeah then masi got tired of lulu and then she gave the she get she gave lulu to me so masi hey, is ruthless masi is ruthless let me tell you <laughs> masi trained lulu i think she was beating beating her so lulu is so strict lulu would never make any mess in the house Because I think of the beatings she got from us, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Mm. Such a good dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lulu is trained by Mercy mm-hmm. and she doesn't make any mess. Okay, of late she's become so so curious because she's been she's been living with me. So I think I mean I mean I'm not I'm beating her. I mean I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a relax. Mm-hmm. So once in a while I find that she's opened my drawer. I don't know with which hands, but she's opened my drawer. <laughs> I'm <laughs> toa keki, I'm kula. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but me I'm not going to be tap the way. So, I it's a bit I make ivo. Atarudi kwa the first month. Hey, 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 I can't I can't. Uh, you are now dating mm-hmm. Ken Warui who is also on the show. What convincing did you have to do for him <laughs> to come on the show? Since we were like convincing mm. now for him. Hey, so Ken I remember I w- so I told Ken, so Ken, I want just to go on a picnic. He's like, "Oh, wonderful. Ah, that's amazing." Then I told him, "But it's going to be filmed." He's like, "Wait. <laughs> Wait. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Ebu tell me everything." So I was like, "Yeah. So I'm going to be filming for a, a reality show. See you." So I, I like I guilt tripped him into doing it. Some yeah, and I think after he did it, he's just like, "I'll never do it again." So I don't think he will like he will, so it's just for that one I, picnic scene. That's what yeah. he said. That's what he, he was just like um having the cameras there made you act different and I didn't, I didn't like that. So and I respect that. That's fine. I feel yeah. like it's not something to force. Yeah, I can't force it on him honestly. Mm-hmm. Uh, what made you agree to be his girlfriend? Uh okay. So <laughs> me and Ken like to joke a lot. And we usually joke that he was my rebound. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know if he was. Honestly, I can't even remember that time really because it was over two years ago. Um yeah, so me and him like to joke because I had just left a relationship and me I have this tendency of wanting to slip into another one because then I, I can imagine from this relationship to It's this. Called yes. Hey. The monkey is on this tree and then it monkey bearing. I am the monkey. Hakuna <laughs> healing. Hakuna healing una heal na mse mwingine. So <laughs> me usually have a problem with being a, I'm just alone I'm, I'm wondering. No one is telling me good morning. No no one. I know we have to get into another one right now right now. So yeah so basically he was kind. He was very gentle. Um he's he's sweet. Um he took me on really nice dates like any really nice dates and i was like wow he's amazing but then also i feel like i hadn't healed completely so i needed somebody I, so i just i was just like you fit the criteria you are intelligent you are kind you are gentle um yeah you'll meet my family you are the, you are the one yeah you are <laughs> <laughs> so mm-hmm. how did your mom take it when she met him Okay so I don't remember when they met by the way I don't but my mom has grown so fond of him yani she loves Ken so much so much 
a um, few a couple of days ago kid uh, had an accident pole, pole, pole. with my mom's car e- well guess okay. what my mom was just like as long as ako sawa unajua ni kijana wetu i'm like ah! mom if it was any of us Ah 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 ah. We we imagine. My mom was just say as long as ako sawa, you know. Me in ko hata alinipigia. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Hata wacha pone tra. Hata tra visit, tra visit kwao. My mom not even li- for him to repair the ima- car. Nothing. Wow. My mom loves this guy so much. I'm just like, "Mom, do you love him more than I love him? What's, what's, what's happening?" <laughs> Hey, uh, mom loves skin. Mom has already foreseen a husband she here. She has a probably. good husband for <laughs> Gloria. <laughs> uh, Nini, so when he appeared for that one scene on the show, will he be paid ama will come to kuku support? Um, me I like to look at the support. <laughs> okay. Which is which um, is great. When it comes to being paid, I don't know. I I don't know if he me we, we didn't have that conversation. Okay. And the fact that it didn't come up, I also didn't really think about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but now you've made me actually. I I think I ask him probably he thought is probably he might get something. But but they but yeah. okay, so I have that Because you said the debt was going to be short. Yeah. So maybe he's like I might get something. Hey. But it's, it's just better to communicate. I'll ask him. I don't. I don't know if he had. If he thought like that. It, okay. I don't know. I didn't even, even, way. even me, I didn't think like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the show, we saw you saying you you're open to polyamory. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still open to polyamory? Okay. I like to say that I am young. And when you're young, it's the only time you, that your mistakes are forgivable. Mm-hmm. People can be like. Ah, Isawa and Imdogo Imdogo people make mistakes and people uh she's young she's young she's not mature yet so um the fact that you're yeah okay me I'm young mm-hmm. and I like to I just like to be like I'm open to trying it I'm not saying now but mm-hmm. if I'm ever in a situation where I say find me my friend and someone else and someone else we love each other I I would like to pursue that so that even I can even say one day that hey I tried and this is how it went just for the experience basically. Yeah. So for now you're not ready to let Ken <sighs> be with one of your friends and then you be with one of your friends man. That can be a very sticky situation because I know how Ken is sensitive. He's he's the ones for no that's no he, actually I I would even be so ashamed to even bring up the idea with him. <laughs> <laughs> he's very proper. I don't yeah. even understand. I'm like, ah, let's go and you what's going on. He is very proper. So, I don't think he'd be open to that. Okay. Mm. Uh on the trailer also, you said uh you don't want to get married anytime soon. When is the right time? Uh there's no right time. <laughs> But then there's no right time. Yeah. My boy you to danganya. Eh? I am not ready. Yeah. It is not the right time. No. <laughs> With the right, right girl is always the right time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um I feel like I've seen how marriages have worked in my family and they've not gone too well. <laughs> and I've seen how but then how the relationships before the marriage were so amazing and they were full, they they were meaningful. I want to have that. Uh-huh. So for me it's not a priority. It can happen later in life but it's really not it's a not an end goal for yeah for yeah I don't think if I don't get married I'm going to say I failed in life. <laughs> yeah. You're also an auntie. What's your favorite thing to do with Ivana? So I'm an auntie to the most amazing sweetest any uh, just amazing human being Ivana and I like to sing with her. Yani we sing off tune but yani the way we performed like Rihanna yani we feel and yani we feel unbeatable we feel like yani the earth is our i don't know platform and we are gonna like we go all out i think i love to sing with Ivana she has so much energy um i've taught her so many songs and she get, gets songs in too yani top, top. so i love that i love that i can sing with her I'm a bad dancer but yeah every once in a while I dance too <laughs> with her <laughs> you also emceed her birthday 
are you open to doing it professionally like ukuje <laughs> kuinje umeshika mic kwa concert we awa ilikuwa ngumu aje but but ni kwambie sasa Then, so how how I got to even MC was that the previous night before Ivana's birthday mm-hmm. I was just chilling it's Betty actually Ken was there as well so it was me Betty Ken um and then my friend mm-hmm. and my cousin I think so we were just talking then then B was like guys sina MC I'm like una MC at your birthday ni kesho then uh, then she's like um do I ask Masi no Masi came late, late last time because Masi MC the last one the previous one yeah, yeah. So uh so she's like Gloria am you do it me I'm like me MC I try, I hold a mic for hours and on end I just talk and talk and talk and entertain people that it sounded horrible and hard and also cuz I don't know how I don't know how how to be relatable you know how MCs can you just have to be engaging engaging me I like to be the person to be called on by the MC to say a few words <laughs> <laughs> and there're going to be a few. <laughs> exactly. Uh, very few like thank you for coming everyone. Have a nice evening. Yes. But then now she was asking me to do such a big job. So um I got so now uh, I said yes, okay. Sawa, because I was writing the I was writing the uh what's it called? Um okay, the order of the day, right? The program. The program, yeah. yeah. So I was writing it and it sound it felt fun to be the boss to boss people around to be like you're speaking next you're not speaking sit down I I <laughs> honestly felt like that was so much power So on the day um it wasn't easy because I feel like I'm not the funniest human being <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I could make a joke then I'm like these guys are not even getting cricket 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 yeah, like, <laughs> what is this young girl saying yeah and <laughs> hey so then i said no and you should take a shot <laughs> or three <laughs> then it got to a point of so much fun and i was doing it so effortlessly i kept picking up the mic yo guys are you good are you having fun would you like some more punch have you eaten like it became so much fun it's not something i'd like to do professionally obviously that was my niece's birthday i definitely would do it again yeah because i i didn't have such a bad experience but i would never do it professionally i don't think i'm relatable or funny okay i can be funny to my friends but a lot funny by the way it's just not to the general population yeah uh-huh. or baby steps until baby steps. when you you're no, able no. to do it. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do with your big sisters? What's my favorite thing to do with Betty and Marcy? Hey. Hmm. Okay, I think of late I recently started trying out alcohol. So, mm-hmm. probably that's the best thing because if it's not um based on let's say partying It's going to be me holding the camera as I take pictures of them which is not so much fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm you're usually ba- you're basically working. I'm working 24/7 and I'm being underpaid or not paid at all. <laughs> so hanging out with them probably in in a party in the club that's fun. It's been fun every single time I've tried. Mm-hmm. Mm. Lastly, what advice will you give your big sisters considering sister wao ndo wanakupea? What would you want to tell them? On what? On anything. On life or on even uh, what you've witnessed them doing and mm. they don't want to listen. My advice to let me start with Betty because that's what I can advise for days. I can spend 48 to 6 hours advising Betty. So, um I think with Betty I would like to tell her I can stop choosing guys based on looks. These people are letting us down. <laughs> These people are constantly letting us down. Stop b- uh, choosing people uh, men um based on looks. Mm-hmm. What else would I like to tell Betty? Um as an advice, I don't think I feel like that's usually the greatest problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me think of Mercy. Um I feel like I should like to tell Mercy to chill because Masi is like our boss. <laughs> But, yeah, like between me, me and Betty and Masi. So Masi is like our boss. I just feel like she should chill a little and just more of live in the moment and stop trying to control so many things at a time. Yeah. Uh, 
Mm. Mature small sister. <laughs> but I love them so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. I've had fun. Karibu tena. <laughs> Now you know where where to come. Now I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this show. Please subscribe for more entertaining interviews. See you guys. Bye.